Hey guys, I'm Will from Tustin. And I'm Norm from Tustin. We're here at CES 2015. And we just picked this guy up at the DJI booth. It looks like the Inspire camera on a stick. DJI makes quadcopters. We've flown the Phantom 2, the Vision Plus, the Inspire 1, which is that $2,800 quadcopter, coming out soon. And it has a three axis gimbal with a camera mm -hmm. on it, right? So when we uh, first did the hands on with the camera, it's basically a 4K, like a GoPro 4 quality camera. Uh, but better, uh, different optics. No, different optics. No fisheye lens, no big wide wide angle craziness. And what they've announced here at CES is accessory for the quadcopter that lets you take the camera off of the quadcopter mm -hmm. and put it on a, a mount. It's called the DJI One Inspire mount. Okay. Um, and so it's basically it's an accessory. You have your own phone attached, you have running the Inspire app. It is my own phone. And the camera and the gimbal are part of the quadcopter. And what I can do is basically turn it into like a steady cam. Like well, a light, it's not a steady, a light not a, steady cam. It is it's a big jump from a steady cam to here. Right. There's some level of stabilization in terms of your roll and your yaw, uh, your horizontal translation movement. Right, you but still it doesn't control it, that. It's not gonna remove up and down, it's not gonna remove big side to side, it's not gonna remove sudden mo movements. You need to move your arm to, to shock absorb it. That's right. Or else it's not gonna look like a steady cam. So I, I have the app right now. This is basically the Inspire One app that you'd use to fly the quadcopter. Mm -hmm. And like when you're flying the quadcopter, you can actually touch and hold the screen and move the camera. If I want to do my own pans, there's Will right there. Hello. And then if I want to just track him, basically I can move around and I'm twisting the camera around a little bit. It, from five minutes of use, it seems like it's all about gentle movements yeah. and not making sudden big ge gestures. Um, you know, just like Steadicam. Steadicam's operators go to school for two or three weeks to learn how to use them. This, there's going to be a steep learning curve with this as well. I can, I can walk around Will, kind of, or What do I look like from around, behind? Spin around. Hmm. I think we might be Ooh. too close for it right now. Ooh, it's freaking out. Yeah. Uh, this is a prototype. We got early access to this, and DJI has graciously uh, let us hold on to this prototype for this morning at CES. So we're gonna walk around, see if we can stress test it, see if we can actually make some use of it. Uh, but this will come out in Q2 this year. It's nope. like we said. No price. No price, it's an accessory it's, for it, a $2,800 I mean, quadcopter. It's basically a battery and Wi-Fi connection. The phone connects via Wi-Fi to the base, just like it did with the old Phantom 2 Vision. Um, so, you know, well, let's take it out and see what it does. Yeah. This video looks super stable. Look at the video. Look at the video. I, I understand. Look, you just don't see it when you're when you're walking. Your brain filters I can it out. See, no, no, you can try it. That is super stable. Yeah. All right. So here's our test. We figured out a good test. We will. We figured out a test. Will is gonna walk through CES uh, like a boss. He's not gonna pay attention to anything. Not I'm not pay stopping to for me. anybody. I'm not slowing down. I'm never looking back. I'm never saying no. I'm gonna try to video him, shoot a video of him, and be the best cinematographer I can be holding this gimbaled camera. And then Joey, you're gonna follow me and see how shaky I am. Yeah. All right, let's, are you ready? Let's do this. Let's, I'm gonna start the video recording. Hello. Will, give me a clap. Cool. All right, Will's walk through CES begins now. I'm going up the escalator. Okay, so we did a walk. Yep. We did it. We did essentially a walk and talk or a long single shot of me walking through a trade show. And your goal was you went up an escalator. Your goal was to I didn't want to make it easy. Think about the camera person. Right. I I, I intentionally I was trying to make it easy for Joey, not necessarily for you. And then I was trying to do creative shots. Mm -hmm. You know, get up close to your face, track you from far away. Were you trying for a long continuous shot? One long continuous okay. shot. So we've imported it into Will's iPad, and we're going to review it in real time. This is a four minute video of Will walking through CES. I'm Let's see now. how stable it is. This is me going up the escalator. Boy, that's pretty good. Now this is you going up the stairs. And the stairs are really now, difficult. See, okay, I you whiffed the shot a little bit. Because I couldn't see the, the bottom. Oh, you couldn't see the, iPad, the iPhone. Yeah, so I'm, I'm at the same time trying to look on the viewfinder on the iPhone at the same time as orienting the camera. And what I discovered using this is I actually switch between the two modes pretty frequently. So, As we said, one mode follows who you're trying to follow. Like forward is gonna be forward. Mm -hmm. So if I go around, it's gonna point to Will. It's gonna point right? to the same orientation, compass orientation, except for this isn't. This is pointing at the same target. Same target, that's okay. mode one. 
Mode two, if I wanted to reorient my body, for example, mm -hmm. and get to your side or shoot from a different angle, I would, for example, move up here and then switch to mode two and then change my hands. So I would know that I need to go down here so that so I could just shoot from above. Always gonna point at the same direction. Exactly, see same now I'm spot. shooting from above. Yeah. And then if I wanna go back, I move my hand back like that, and then I go down here again. So there's a little bit of thinking. And watch the video. I am following you and I'm getting you, I'm trying to get artsy and get you into the you know sides of the frames. So I'm not seeing the bounce of the walk, which is the thing I was concerned about. Yeah, I was there concerned is no that we bounce. would see stepping. Now your arm does natural shock absorption. Yes. The real test will be to put this on a mount this on a skateboard or a snowboard or something like that. But I mean this is pretty good. I think the coolest this part is, is when you walk up to the booth and you try checking out that laptop. And we can show oh, I'll fast forward to that. Yeah. Because the moment we're very flummoxed. <laughs> there you go. So you're walking up to the booth right now. Now, were you able to see the viewfinder at this point? Yes, okay. I can see the viewfinder. And I'm walking behind people, kind of like tracking you. Yeah. And basically, my body is like the quadcopter. This is pretty good. And it's perfectly stable, and I'm panning completely around you. So they they have to be doing some digital stabilization as well to, have, to accommodate for the up and down. Yeah. Um, this is a pretty good shot, Norm. You might have a yeah. future in this. I think this is it's pretty cool. Again, like we said earlier, this is it's an a, accessory. You, can, you can't buy the camera standalone right now, you right? Not buy the camera standalone. It's an accessory to a three thousand dollar essentially quadcopter. That's a lot of scratch for for a gimbal on a stick. I think it's a smart thing for them to do. Like we have a Phantom Two Vision Plus, and I've always wanted to be able to use the gimbal and camera on that mm -hmm. for things outside the quadcopter. Put it in the car, attach or, it to like skateboard. Or, frankly, or buy this camera and hang it off our DJI Phantom Two. I imagine that's gotta be the business they wanna be in in the future. DJI doesn't just build quadcopters, they build equipment for video production. Well, it's a platform for, for people who make videos, yeah. This has gotta be the first step. Uh, thank you so much, DJI, for letting us borrow this prototype for a while. It's walk through CES. We'll have that video so you guys can see how stable mm -hmm. I am. And we'll we have, have some more We have some more battery left. I say let's go do some dumb stuff, see what we can do with it, yeah. and then go back uh, and return it. Return it, I wanna keep this as long as possible. See you guys later. Bye. Will Smith from Tested. Will Smith from Tested. Can I get a picture? No. Say yes to everything. No, no, I say no to everything. Jamie says yes to everything. Picture, selfie. <laughs>